welcome to another teacher talk session tonight tonight we are going to have our 93rd session yes 93rd wow oh, it's, it's, it's getting close to 100 <laughs> all right and again tonight i would like to start uh, our live sessions with uh autotips code peace at home peace in the world and, and i hope this war between ukraine and russia ends soon all right so tonight we are going to have another uh, very important uh, educator uh, so she is Bon yetkin chamker and she is a former helen doron teacher and also a twinkle turkey ambassador and also english teacher so we are going to start our live session with her when she comes and I think probably she is here. Let me invite her, then we can start. There she is. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Good evening. Good evening. It's great to see you. Nice to see you. <laughs> I would like okay, so I would like to say thank you before starting our live session. So teacher talks, ninety three, and it's going to be a really nice session with you. I'm thank so you excited so that <laughs> I'm so excited that we have this uh, session with you, and I'm sure that it's going to be a very fruitful session and a very lovely session with you. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it will. All right, uh, I know that we are all busy, and I'm sure you are very busy too. So. I don't want to take your time. So if you're ready, we can start. Of course. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> All right then. So I know about you, Bano Jam, but maybe our listeners would like to know about you. So can you tell us about yourself, please, and a bit about your experiences too? Mm. Okay. I am Bano, teacher. Uh, I've been teaching like for 15 years. I started um, when I started actually. Uh, I want to talk about uh, first bilingualism because uh, language come, uh, comes within the family with, because my mom is Swiss, uh, my mom is Swiss. Uh, I oh. grew up bilingual and uh, therefore uh, I always could, no, uh, could speak <laughs> another language, uh, you know, um, th and I start when I uh, started, I mean, I, sorry, I, I was talking about myself. Uh, I'm a teacher, uh, and uh, I would say uh, I'm a young, uh, young, uh, young, younger students educator because uh -huh. I'm more <laughs> sp uh, specialized in that field. I see. Y young learners. Educator, I, I can say. understand. Okay, you teach young learners. I understand. It's okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. Even though I taught uh, within different levels, now at the moment uh -huh. I'm yeah more on into young learners. I see. I like, understand. Okay. Uh, pre preschool, kindergarten, and primary school. I understand. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you, Banu Jam. Thank you. All right. So, what was your what was your or were your turning point or points in your own education? Uh, let me start this way. Uh, when I was in the university, uh, I graduated from Eger University, American Studies. And then mm -hmm. I went to the States for two years. And uh, because my uh, marks weren't enough for uh, MBA, uh, I went to college for two years there. And mm -hmm. it was co on computer, actually website development and I came back home um, in uh, it was just the time when the you know a twin towers collapsed and it was that year <laughs> uh, I came back and um, I, I've been almost here ever since uh, I, I live in Izmir mm -hmm. and I'm a teacher here <laughs> oh I see okay all right thank you very much and probably uh, let's move to the next question so when you think about your uh, own, I mean, my like, tur yes. uh, turning point. Sorry, I was. Yeah, I, I sure. Get lost. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no problem. Uh, when I was in the uh, university, let me say, uh, I wasn't planning even uh, getting a teacher. I mean, um, uh -huh. yeah, American studies, English. Yes, it was always, you know, even uh, starting to the university, <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I was 
it was a last minute decision that I choose uh, American studies because for me, as I said at the beginning, uh, speaking another language was very easy. So um, I could easily get, get it and so. And um, because of that, uh, uh, my high, at, at the uh, Lycée High School, my marks weren't high. So uh -huh. I took, uh, like three months before the exam, I, I got an uh, exam book, uh, English test book, and I studied on that and uh, <laughs> I won <laughs> the lottery <laughs> kind of thing. Oh, I and, see, uh, I got it. As I uh -huh. said, uh, when I was in the university, I didn't plan to be a teacher. Uh, my father forced me to get the teacher certificate, you know, uh -huh. you never know what you'll be and this kind, you know, and apparently, uh, if I, I mean, thinking now, if I knew, uh, I would probably study something when I went to the States, I would study about something about education or child development or something like that. But it was something, uh -huh. you know. Uh, website development, <laughs> which was ah, new at the, moment, at the time. <laughs> exactly. Uh -huh. And my turning point <clears throat> was actually uh, being a, deciding a teacher. Um, I was very close with my grandma, and uh, she passed away apparently in uh, mm. 206. So sorry about it. Yeah, and mm. um, I, I was depressed. So my parents said, okay, you have to do something. You are good with English. You are good with kids. And, you know, uh, my mom knew some uh, kindergarten teacher. Uh, uh -huh. She said, can my daughter come for a while? <laughs> you know, kind of. And then uh, I started from there, actually. I and see. it has I been it. my life <laughs> ever since. <laughs> I understand. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bruno Jam. Okay, so let's look, let's move to another question. So, which is like, when you think about your... The teaching experiences probably you have a kind of a philosophy of teaching in this case. So, what is your philosophy of teaching? Philosophy of teaching. Well, uh, fun teaching, I would say. I mean, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, you All should right. have fun and you should uh, give the fun uh, or the joy to the opposite side, to the kids here uh -huh. or to whom. Who, um, Whoever you talk to or you talk, teach, mm -hmm. I, I would understand. say. Okay. Because okay. that's a motivation. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, fun is a very great motivation for everybody. I would say. Yeah, definitely, I, I I totally agree with you. Fun, 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 fun is really important, especially in learning a new language. The fun is on, you know, the you cannot accept, you know, the the from it, and you should put it in your lessons. Especially yeah. if you want to get the attention of the students, mm -hmm. you need to find some fun ways yeah, to teach them. Surprise. Fun activities, exactly. <laughs> kind of, <laughs> exactly. You know, okay. Surprise element and. Uh huh. I understand. Yeah. Definitely. All right. So thank you very much, Bano Jam. So again, it's something about your teaching. So mm -hmm. what aspects uh, of your what as aspects of your teaching have changed? by gaining experience in teaching? Well, uh, what? I mean, uh, understanding the children change, I think. Uh, now I can uh, think one step ahead. At the beginning, it wasn't like that, you know? At the beginning it was, I have to do this, I have to do that. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I have to uh, get my schedule done. And uh -huh. then uh, within time, you relax and you know you know what you do uh, need to do and uh, within actually within this a few uh, two years uh, we learned to get online we learned how to teach online which we didn't need before you uh -huh. know before we needed uh, computer <clears throat> to find uh, stuff but now uh, we need to, uh, computer work for everything <laughs> <laughs> you are right exactly oh, okay Thank you very much. So we are in uh, 2022, as you know that. So mm -hmm. probably you have some expectations <laughs> from 2022. Uh, and what are they? Well, I go, I go with the flow, actually. <laughs> uh, I mean, um, I like what life... Uh, I mean, uh, I don't plan much ahead. You know, life has its own ways and uh, mm -hmm. own ways to deal with. So I don't plan too much. 
for instance, now I don't know what I will be doing next year, but uh, I'm more focused maybe on this at the, uh, on the moment because this is the time we have to live. <laughs> I, we don't know uh, what what will happen tomorrow. If we, I mean, uh, you know, it's kind of weird, but uh, I don't know what will happen ten minutes later. <laughs> You're right. I, I okay. can have a heart attack and I'll be gone. So pl planning ahead is not really my cup of coffee. <laughs> my cup of I tea. understand. Okay. Okay. I understand. Okay then. So thank you very much. So uh, I heard actually this, 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 I mean, we heard it for a long time and there's a kind of an English program, which is Helen Zoron. So... Ah. And I'm the, I'm sure that and you are very really familiar with it and you're kind of a former teacher of Helen Doron so I really wonder what is Helen Doron English so can you just tell us about it Yeah, uh, I was a Helen Doron teacher for like like a decade. I mean, uh, I have to talk about the past Helen Doron because now uh, with the time it has changed too, and I've been. Uh, a Helen Doron teacher for eight, nine years, and then uh, I changed my area, and you know, because uh, the company has changed um, in a way, and the learning center I worked here in Izmir, it closed down, uh, so I can just talk about the uh, things prior. And right. Helen Doron, mm -hmm. uh, actually, um, Helen Doron is uh, Music, uh, let, uh, it's not a lesson plan, it's a ge game group, we were call it, saying, because when you say lesson, then you get irrigated and so, uh, but if you, it's a play group, then you come for uh, having joy and, you know, we had music, car, uh, games, props and um, interaction. I mean, uh, we were sitting on the cushions in the classroom. We didn't. We don't need uh, desks and so. And we, the teacher had materials, and we, at the time, we were making our own props. But later, it, uh, it has got changed into like a little bit more digital, and we were uh, listening to music, of course. And um, the children had CDs at the time, <laughs> um, and they were listening to the CDs at home or in the car which was, uh, you know, uh, back hearing and that, that was actually, you were learning ahead and then um, uh -huh. you were actually, you were hearing ahead. And uh, for instance, I was, I'm talking about an apple. Uh, I'm showing the flashcard. I'm showing the apple, the holistic, uh, it's a holistic uh, type, type, I would say, I holistic am. type uh -huh. of teaching. It, you taste the apple, you smell the apple, you cut the apple, uh, you color the apple, you know, and then, you know, uh, you hear apple, apple, and then it fix, it's, it's fixed in a way. I understand. Uh -huh. And like um, normal, I mean, <laughs> like when you do, a parent does at home, I mean, uh, you don't show just, like I have got an apple card, you don't show flashcards at home. You look, this is an apple, it's red. Oh, smell it, kind of. And then, um, and with actions, interactions, and so, um, it gets fixed. And um, I have to say and admit that uh, this method has uh, gone into Turkish system too. That's why uh, the kindergarten and uh, mm -hmm. kindergartens all around ha have changed. Before, the teacher had only flashcards. Uh, but when I think of previous uh, educations, that they had limited stuff, and they were teaching. Okay, this is a card. Yes, red circle, <laughs> and then go. But now uh, we are making more sentences. We are using them more, mm -hmm. uh, etc. Et I understand. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, <laughs> Bano Jam, for giving information uh, about the uh, Helen Doran English. So. What makes, my next question again related with Helen Doron, what makes Helen Doron English different from other ESL programs? As I said, I mean, um, actually, uh, you just, uh, in, still in some uh, kindergartens around, I see uh, teachers 
teachers don't know how to use materials in some ways. The new teachers are getting more used to it, but the old ones are the traditional way. You know, it's a traditional way, but the Helen own method is uh, off the uh, track a little bit, maybe mm -hmm. uh, uh, off the traditional way. Uh, the holistic method is helping a lot and you hear, you touch, you play, uh, actions, interactions, and uh, props all together, music, they all come together and you have fun and then uh -huh. uh, you learn better. See I the understand. fun aspect. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So let me ask you another question. As we know that you are a former Helen Doron teacher, I know, mm -hmm. as, I, uh, as far as I know. So is it yeah. easy to become a Helen Doron teacher and who is a suitable candidate to become an Helen Doron, a Helen Doron teacher, English teacher? Okay. Uh, Probably the uh, it's I hope I bet it's about the same thing. I mean, uh, Helen Duran has uh, teachers. Uh, you have to be fun, energetic, and good comment of English, of course. And you should be uh, getting well along along with children. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, they they have trainings. Uh, they had a lot of trainings. I mean. At uh, the teacher training, and then uh, they choose if you are suitable or not. And then, if you are suitable, then they teach more detailed how to do uh, some games and some props. Uh, it was an intense teaching. I mean, uh, I it ta takes like two, three days. You are into it, and um, you le you learn a lot. And at the end of the day, you, you are tired, but <sighs> I've learned a lot, you know, kind of good feeling. I understand. And, you feel uh, like that. Uh -huh. Yeah, they they choose. That all. They chose well at the time. I at at the moment I don't know, but uh, it was it is fun teaching that. I way. understand. Okay, thank you. Thank and you I'm very still much. using that uh -huh. method in a way, you know. Now I'm teaching in a kindergarten, and uh, experience get stuck with you and it doesn't change <laughs> so when yeah, you, uh, because uh -huh. I learned uh, from there I still use some methods uh, somehow <laughs> I understand thank you thank you very much Banojam. okay so let's move to another topic which is we talk about the Helen Doron thank you very much for the information that you mm -hmm. gave about Helen Doron English so Let's move to another one. As far as I know, you are a Twinkle Turkey ambassador, and Twinkle is a website, and that we most of our most of teachers use it, use their materials, and we really love it. They support teachers a lot, thanks uh -huh. to them. <laughs> and there's a, another branch which is Twinkle Turkey. So, and you are a Turkey Turkey ambassador. So, yeah. what is T Twinkle Turkey, and what's the aim of it? Okay, uh, Twinkle is a teacher-based, uh, uh, teacher-created uh, source site, let's say. And uh, Twinkle Turkey uh, is, you know, uh, they op before they didn't have uh, Turkey or Turkey, uh, uh, but suffix. Now they have it, and uh, they are they are creating materials in Turkish. Uh, and of course, uh, in many languages, uh, there are over 500,000 and materials and um, some of, I don't know how much, but uh, th there's quite, a, quite many uh, in Turkish. I mean, they are translating every, every day almost, something new is coming. And, uh, you know, uh, the Twinkle is the big company, Twinkle Turkey is the Turkey brand. <laughs> Let's say yeah, mm -hmm. I understand. Uh, what? Uh, let's move to another question. Thank you. What are the benefits of uh, Twinkle Turkey for students and for teachers? Uh, Twinkle uh, is, you know, there are, as I said, there are over five hundred materials, and um, you can use them, print them, and use them, or uh, you can use them online in your online lessons. There are uh, powerpoints and. Um, you know, many kind of, kinds of stuff. I mean, um, you can create your own stuff. If you don't like what they have, you can go and create your own stuff with their materials and etc. And 
uh, so that's a, I mean, you don't have to be a teacher. You can be a parent using it. You can be any, anybody using it. I understand. Where, okay, where you need, sure. you know, uh -huh. if you want to teach your child uh, a behavior or something, you can go uh, download or just open it on the screen. Let's do this and that. And mm -hmm. it's, uh, I mean, it's a big resource help. It's a big help. I, I mean, understand. You just Thank go you. type a word and there are lots of storybooks and uh, they even have um, Netflix and other con contributions. It's a good site. I understand. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we know that it's a very good site <laughs> and we, we every day we check that site. So uh -huh. it's really useful. Thank yeah, you. it's very Thank useful. you, Manojo. And so how long, I know that every day you share different materials and from Tivinkel Turkey and from Tivinkel site. So how long does it take to prepare a material for it? Well, uh, I sometimes, as an ambassador, uh, what my duty is, I'm sharing what Twinkle is doing. You know, they have this, you can use this. Look, this is for free. <laughs> and uh, there are like 40,000 free materials. Uh, you can log uh -huh. in without uh, sub subscription and uh, without paying. It's, uh, there's a 40,000 materials free and 500,000 uh, you can reach by paying a very little tuition. Oh, like that. 20 uh -huh. liras a, a month or something, which is a cup of coffee price almost, <laughs> you know. Yeah, and you're right. It helps a lot. I mean, it, as I said, you don't have to be a teacher. You, you can be anybody using the materials. I understand. For instance, All at right. my school at the moment, uh, I in English department, we use it. And my Spanish colleague, she's using it for her class. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, my normal, you know, uh, Turkish uh, classroom teachers, they are using it for other uh, topics. And so, so it's very useful. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. And All right. So, I mean, do we have to pay for it? You just mentioned it, but I, probably I forgot, I missed yeah. it. Uh, I mean, uh, you can uh, log in and get the, uh, like there are like, 400 uh, free materials, 40,000 text, sorry. And uh, you can download them and ju just use them. But if you want more, then um, as I said, a cup of coffee price is a month price. Uh-huh, I see. So, so just I like... mean, uh, it's, a, it's such a, a big benefit. I mean, uh, if you use it a lot, as uh -huh. I said, you can print them, you can use them online or uh, you can read a book, do a book activity, whatever. There are uh, hundreds of topics. I understand. So we know that it's very, very useful and very supportive uh, website and uh, the Instagram page also say. All right, thank uh -huh. you. So let's move to another another uh, topics. So let's uh, talk about some teachers. So can you tell us five adjectives that describe effective language teachers? Mm. Okay, inspiration. Okay, I one inspiration. I think it's pr inspiration. Um, motivated. Okay, two, motivated. Uh, genuine. Okay, three is genuine. Um, well, maybe planned. All right, planned. Has to be planned ahead. Number and four. And the last one? Loving. 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 Oh, okay. Good job. So let's, let's revise it. Can you say again? Inspiration. Set. Inspiration. And motivated. Okay, motivated. Um, genuine. Genuine. Loving. Loving. And planned. Planned, Having that's plan, all. Plan Thank you. Ahead. Okay, plan ahead. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Thank you, Bano Jam. Nice fun. <laughs> all right, let's move to another question, which is related again, again, but this is a really <laughs> interesting one, which is related to superpowers. Uh, <laughs> if you could have one superpower to use in the classroom, what would it be uh, and how would it help? Well, superpower. Well, I've never been uh, very good in controlling the classroom, <laughs> to be uh -huh. honest. <laughs> I think I would need some help. Or, uh, you know, I, I've never been uh, one of the teachers that uh, could 
make them quiet with one look. <laughs> so I think I, I could use that a little bit. But I think that's something personal uh, coming from my personal side, personal mm -hmm. weakness. I feel sometimes uh, I feel like we are friends. And um, well, I have to <laughs> break that a little bit. I understand. Okay. So thank you. Thank you uh, very much. I want to say something here. Um, sure, sure. Of course. Yesterday, uh, I think it was yesterday or the day before, uh, I, I'm working at Yem uh, Okular this year and Kaihan Karl is the uh, pre uh, owner and he shared something uh, on his Instagram the other day. Um, it was There was a teacher uh, which was very proud. But whenever, even if I go out of the classroom, the children won't come. Uh, they are so good. And uh, how did they, how did you manage it? I told them I have got my laser eyes and if, if they would come out, I would, it would cut them. <laughs> and is this a good teacher? Was the question, you know, uh, <laughs> for kindergarten. <laughs> That's, and it made me think, yeah, is that really a good teacher? Scaring the kids and, you know, is that a motivation? Or do you know, motivation no. for the kids? Oh, it's something different about it. So that's that's not a motivation. That's yeah. the, you don't. I mean, the, the kids should. I mean, like they, okay. the kids shouldn't afraid of you. I mean, like yeah. they they should. I mean, like they need your love, not mm -hmm. your like they don't afraid of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, I agree with you. I mean, uh, yeah, listening to the teacher is fine, but scaring them, not not good. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. All right. So let's let's move to another. Yeah, by cutting. No, <laughs> of course, they no no one is gonna cut the, cut the kids. So that's not a the, the, uh, you know, she the said she nice laser vision. So <laughs> the laser eyes. Puzzle, okay, I see. <laughs> that's so that's so really? fun. But of course, of course, we're not doing that one. Of course, <laughs> we should love <laughs> love them. We should yeah. show them that we carry them. Uh -huh. All right. Okay then, so let's move to another question. If you had a chance, Bano Jam, if you had a chance to change one thing in the, from the ELT world, what would you change and why? Uh, well, what? Actually, I had a uh, answer for that, but I forget now, <laughs> to be honest. But I think we should um, we should uh, get rid of. You know the um, what? Um, you know the old school uh, kind of teaching. Even though I'm a little bit old school teacher, teacher, uh, teacher. You know, <laughs> uh, I'm not so very good on the technology, which has I mean, uh, which has improved so much lately. But I still uh, try to put some things uh -huh. in, and uh, uh, we we need to get rid of like writing five times uh, or uh, in my classes, I try to make my ch uh, children talk instead of writing into the notebook. Yes, they should see something. They should see the example, but uh -huh. writing five times or I know there are still te teachers doing that. Or, uh, you know, like Faria teacher last week told uh, uh, her daughter is still learning the way she did, you know, that should be out of everywhere. <laughs> All around the world, I mean, it's an old, old habit, outdated. I mean, okay, let a classroom, let's open the books kind of thing, you know? I understand. Okay. Uh, it's, uh -huh. You have to be a fun teacher. You have to, you have, to have the hands on learning. Uh, you have to use the language in the classroom. Uh, as I said at the beginning, uh, I didn't want to be a teacher because uh -huh. I was thinking everybody knew sir, English. Everybody knows English. You know, even if you go to um, to Urfa, <laughs> you don't get me wrong. Uh, they try to speak in English with you. I mean, uh, at the kids, abla, abla, come yeah. here, come here, abla, <laughs> kind of, you know. And um, but and and then I said, wait, the people had uh, inter. In Turkey, the problem in normal uh, school, the children don't have uh, motivation enough on one hand. I mean, in 
uh, normal uh, devlet, you know, schools, they don't have that motivation. And uh, because it's still the old fashioned uh, uh -huh. uh, type of learning and, um, and people, uh, teachers who are graduated from that system, they can, they can pr write perfect. I mean, they uh, essays with no mistakes. Yeah. But if you ask them to read it, they cannot do it. That's the problem, I think. I mean, That's we, have to, we have to make children talk. I mean, people talk. They have to use the language, right or wrong. We learn by mistakes. I, I understand. Say. I understand. Thank you. Thank you very much, Balna <laughs> John. All right. <laughs> nice. Thank you for sharing your ideas about it. Okay, so let's move to another question. Probably most of the time the people ask you your good uh, teaching experiences, but this time I'm going to ask you the vice versa. Can you tell us about one of your bad or challenging teaching experience in your career? Mm, challenge. I mean, uh, not an experience, but in every classroom there is a naughty child, <laughs> a problem child, I would say. Not really, maybe, but uh until you learn uh, how to get along with that child uh you have a problem every year i would say and uh, when you get along uh -huh. or uh you know when you get to know the child from that point on you don't have a problem because mm -hmm. that child is usually the leader of the classroom you know some way <laughs> some way or you another right. uh -huh. you know you understand what i mean <laughs> Yeah, of course, oh, of course. All right, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Baan Hocam. Let's move to another question. So this time, uh, my question is going to be about uh, the people that you work. Like, what kind of people would like to work with? Like, do you think the characteristics of colleagues uh, affect the working environment? What suggestions can you give about it? Well, actually, uh, we... We have to collabor collaborate. Uh, I mean, we have to uh, get in touch with and learn from experience. Uh, in my school, we I work with very. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. at the school I work with very young teachers, but they know also a lot, and we share. Oh, we can do it this way. Why do, why not we do it this way? Oh, look, this is great. You know, uh, exchanging experience, changing ideas. It's a great way and uh, empowers of us all. And uh, of course, uh, we need uh, uh, mm -hmm. respect. We have to respect each other and fr learn from each other, uh -huh. uh, I would say. In a class, right. I mean, uh, in a teacher's room, you shouldn't uh, see each other like enemies or she knows better kind of thing, but working together, it, uh take makes us all bring takes uh, us much better makes us much better that's why i say sharing is caring <laughs> <laughs> i understand all right thank you uh, there is a there's a question here for you bano jam okay is bano teacher a teacher working for minister of education mm, are you working no i'm it? not working uh no i'm working in a private school It's yeah, private, private school, school. and uh, even, but uh, what I do is um, once a week, I've got a class with a public school near my house and uh, it's out of the school, you know, uh, it's a course kind of thing, but mm -hmm. uh, still I make, uh, even though we have a plan, I make them more talk about this, uh, topics instead of writing and doing, the teacher can do that. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bano Jam. All right. So let's move to, by the way, just a couple, just two questions left, you know. The time oh. flies, Bano Jam. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm so, so anxious at the beginning. <laughs> I mean, uh -huh. you know. It's okay. What, what am yeah, I going to Yeah, you still, uh, <laughs> yeah, still, but it's okay. No problem. We just, you know, the talking, there's some stuff over here. So you don't need to be so, you know, the, uh excited so much or yeah. you know nervous just, fine. just I mean, relax just all right so let's <laughs> let's move to another question so let's think think that we finish our uh, interview and you step uh -huh. outside the home and you find a lottery ticket which is uh, ends up uh, winning 10 million dollars what would you do wow 
Wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Why not? I mean, but what would I do? Uh, yeah, well, what would you do? I would call my parents and say, hey, mom, I won the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but see, okay, see you later. I have to I have to go to school tomorrow. I have to work tomorrow. You know, and uh, whenever the, uh, you know, it wouldn't change too much. I mean, not my uh, the way I am living or, or something. But uh, uh-huh. I know what I will do. I mean, uh, my sister lives in Canada and my nephews, and uh, I will go and visit them <laughs> as soon as possible if I would have the chance. And I mean. Um, because, you know, uh, I miss them a lot. And actually, I've got three nephews and I would plan something for, for them. And I would probably help some uh, people in uh-huh. need and some kids, you know, the SMA kids. And so, I, but I understand. it wouldn't change my life too much, I would say, <laughs> I would think. You know, no, I'm I am who, I'm who am I? <laughs> I understand. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Bounty Tojam. Thank you very much. All right. Here is the last question of our session. Ready for it? Yep. Okay, yeah, then. What is, what, what is your motto? Motto? Mm. Well, I would say as a, sharing is caring. I mean, sharing love, sharing uh, laughter, sharing materials. Uh-huh. You know, uh, uh, it, it's not a piece of cake. Sharing is not a piece of cake. I mean, it doesn't get smaller. But if you share love, materials, everybody will benefit from it and we'll be much happier. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> this motto is one of the... Uh, well, uh, I think it is, uh, it's on my uh, profile too. Sharing is caring and I use that hashtag all the time because <laughs> I like it. And <laughs> I understand. You know, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bono Jam. There's a I question. Said, I mean, uh, uh, uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, we are sharing, I mean, joy. We share money. We share education. And uh, when we enrich the people around us, we'll, be get, we'll get richer too. I understand. Somehow, I mean, all right. <laughs> okay, there's another question here. Uh, fancy ELT mm-hmm. ask. I saw your questions, but you know, I'm waiting to finish the answering the question, so that's why I'm waiting. So let me ask you yeah. here is the question, yeah. Bano Jam. Uh, does Bano teacher do any special thing to be up to date, or could she advise anything for it? Well, uh, what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, I mean uh, like. I mean, like she means that. Like, do you follow any professional development things, or what are you doing for your PD? Okay, um, I'm trying to follow the. There are so many seminars and webinars around uh, the world, and I try to catch them and I, I try to watch them. And there are so many uh, sources and resources on the in- internet and. You know, I don't do anything special, but I just to try to improve myself, you know, talking more and uh, I, I'm looking at the pages and to find more uh, different topics, diff- what can I do different, you know, and if I am teaching a topic, what can I, you know, this is fine, but what else can I do? Uh-huh. It's, I understand. Uh, I think it's that's one of another thing. I mean, you have to uh, improve. Uh, you have to work on it because uh, language is. Uh, I can't say that. <laughs> at the university, uh, a friend of mine had told that um, you have to invest on language. You have to uh, use it. You have to, you know, um, improve it I because otherwise it's like. A, a glass of water. If you don't fill it, uh, it will go. It will flow away. You just drink it, and it's there. Yeah, it's there. But at I the understand. Bottom. Okay. It, and uh, the, another problem we, as the young uh, learner teachers, it's that's another problem uh, because we are using the same language, 
we don't improve or we don't get out of the uh, cir uh, circle c kind of thing. And uh, we should use, we, we should listen more, we should speak more, because uh -huh. it's not uh, only the child language we are, we are teaching, we are using. We are, as I said, we have to t talk to them uh, and make them hear more words, not only the basic concepts. I understand. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Bano Hocam. All right, then. That's all. That's all from my, <laughs> by my side. All about the questions. Okay, so before before ending our li our live session, would you like to add anything else? Well, uh, I want to say some. Uh, uh, many people ask what do you use, what resources do you use, and I want, uh -huh. just want to add a few, uh, tell you, because sure, of course, uh, there are lots. We you know Twinkle, and so there are so many great sites, but. Um, People, parents ask us, uh, where can I get books or what shall, what can I do at home for my child? Make them listen something. You know, there are great books. There are great online books. Uh, I, I just want to recommend some sites like Get a Pick. Sure. You can log in and read books. And uh, I always say, even though I gave a lot of, uh, I give lots of PDFs, I always say a, a real book is not... Uh, PDF is not a real book, you know, so uh, you, you should listen, uh, you should read to your child. And, you know, Dear uh, Akun and Melody, uh, and they have a great site for that, English kid book, Kids Books Turkey dot com. Yeah, and, they are. Uh, mm -hmm. get, read, your, uh, read to your children. I mean, even if you have a Turkish book, just uh, translate it and read it. It will, um, new words for you. Every time I read a new child book, I learn a word or I use uh, learn some a new phrase. Uh -huh. you now I go and oh, what is this? Oh, because we are learning like uh, formal English. At school, uh, we have learned always adult English, we, uh, but the children language is not uh, child language is not the same. Always, you know, uh, we have we learn. We need, I need to go to the toilet. The, the the child says I need to pee, <laughs> you know. Yeah, uh, you're right. Uh, it's another language. Child language is different, I would say. So yeah. we have to work on it a little bit. And another great uh, source is Kiss Club. Um, we don't use it much here. I I'm, I wonder how uh, we miss that site. <laughs> I mean, uh, we only use a few, but uh, you should go and. And check it out. Uh, Kids Club and Get Epic and English Kids Books. <laughs> I understand. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bana uh, Jam, for this for this for this one wonderful uh, suggestions to follow to follow them. Okay then. So and I before ending uh, our live sessions, I would like to say thank you very much, Bana Jam, to being with us here. It, it was welcome. a lovely session and a fruitful session. And you shared your ideas, your, your suggestions, and especially it's your my time. My pleasure. <laughs> your time so was much. wonderful. And Banu Yetkin Chamker was with us tonight. And she shared uh, her ideas and her suggestions. And she spent her time with us. That was wonderful. And we are going to be here uh, next week on Monday at the same time, on the same day as you know it. And until next time, take care of yourselves. And good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, wherever you are. Take care of yourselves. And bye, everybody. And peace. Bye-bye, Bano Thank you so much for hosting me. <laughs> Thank you so much for hosting me. I feel so, uh, uh, you know, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. With, you know, it was You're a welcome. great talk. Uh, have a good night. Thank you. Okay, all. you too. Bye -bye. You too. Bye-bye. Take care. Peace, everybody.